Well, it is a daily shock these days, pulling into the gas station. Yeah, prices have been steadily climbing, making you wonder if you don't want to think about it, but mm. are we going to hit $4 a gallon again? New this morning, John Shumway checked in with Gas Buddy for an update. Tell us good news, John. Fingers well, are crossed. <laughs> uh, okay, there, there's some marginal good news here. At $3.85 or so a gallon, we're actually doing better than our eastern Pennsylvania counterparts. But of course, that is small consolation, as it is still rising. When you're pumping away your hard-earned cash, it's small consolation to know. It's normal to see gas prices do their seasonal thing. They spring up in the spring and they stay higher through the summer. Gas Buddies Patrick DeHaan says that the change to summer gas is ongoing in eastern Pennsylvania and has driven prices up there 12 to 15 cents a gallon over the past week. And that is the unique part of western Pennsylvania. Some of the gasoline flowing into the market is actually coming from refineries down in the Great Lakes, which made the jump to summer gasoline already. So we've already taken most of the switchover hit. I think we probably would see a little bit more of increase uh, here over the next couple of weeks. But as we get closer to May, I'm getting more and more confidence that we are close to an end in the rise in prices. And while it's tough to take compared to where we were just a few weeks ago, DeHaan points out. Excluding the caveats, simply I don't have a crystal ball, I do think we're getting close to the top. Worth noting that Pittsburgh so far this year is basically on track with what we saw last year. In fact, today's average is just two tenths of a penny below this exact date a year ago. So Pittsburgh's right on the money. Now, on top of the summer gas being more expensive, DeHaan says inspections and maintenance at refineries is partly to blame for the increase we've seen lately. And it's hard to predict exactly what is coming down the road. OK, but what impact is the Middle East having on our prices, though, John? Well, it certainly has had an impact, and that's one of those caveats that the Han refers to. There was an initial hit when things escalated with Iran. Who knows what's going to happen with today's attack? But that initial impact has slowed a bit, and OPEC has been keeping production down to keep oil prices up. Now, relief won't come until we get to September. Ooh several months. Yeah, that's a ways off. Yeah. yeah. All right, John. We appreciate it.